Hi there. I want to first thank those who gave me well wishes during my hiatus from YouTube. We had uh, suffered a loss in the family that hit me a bit hard. I also had to replace a toilet and sink and a rotting deck. Uh, that was loads of fun. And my car went into the shop for about $3,000 worth of repairs. And while all this was going on, YouTube decided to demonetize my entire channel. I, uh, I appealed and got it back. But it's a new day and I am back with this little gem I came across on Facebook. It's a whopper of a fish story from the riverbender.com website titled Alton Resident Catches 736 Pound Catfish in Mississippi River. It proceeds into a long story that began with a great-grandfather being pulled from a boat and nearly eaten by a giant catfish back in 1909. Fast forward to 2016, when this just about happened again, to the great-grandson, who managed to hold on to the giant fish until being rescued by the Coast Guard. Upon landing and slicing the monster open, they found the man's great-grandfather's boot inside. I had to admit that this was one hell of a fish story, one uh, I have never heard until now. Uh, the photo of the boot was laughable. After a century being inside the fish, it, it still had the man's name clearly inside the boot not degraded at all. And whoever engraves their name inside of a boot? The U.S. Coast Guard uh, has tugboats on the Mississippi River, uh, but the name given in the story was obviously fake. The USS Yabui? I kept thinking that this whole thing must be a joke. And then there's the photo. A man standing next to the supposed monster of the deep. I could tell at a glance that this was photoshopped. Light on the man is from the left, and light on the fish is from the right. An obvious fake. A quick image search found the real photo of a large fish on the dock. No man around it. Then I noticed the date on the story. April 1st, 2016. Oh man, did I feel dumb. And thanks for watching.